Last time in part four of our one day lightweight overland camper build, we were barely six hours into the build and ready to complete the finishing touches on the custom angles that make up the cab over overhang and really cool aerodynamic look of the camper. Carefully measure the length of the extrusions, then cut to length. Cutting to length ensures a proper fit without the assumption of manufacturing and assembly tolerances. And while one is cutting, the other can do some finish work, such as attaching the end caps to the brush guards. Double check your measurements. Then use a chop saw with a slow cut rate for aluminum extrusions. Remove the corner caps that were dry fitted earlier to hold the extrusions into place while the adhesives set up. Then apply adhesives to the approach angle extrusions with four quarter inch beads of Sikaflex. Seal the inside corners of the approach angle with adhesives. Then seal the outside where the extrusions meet. Don't worry about having a perfect bead, as this area will be covered by a corner cap and is a critical component that needs to have a good seal. Apply the exterior angle extrusion. Use a little duct tape to hold it into place. Then apply adhesives on the back side of the corner caps and reinstall them. These corner caps not only provide a finished look, but also act as a secondary and redundant weather seal. When installing the corner caps, ensure that the extrusions are aligned. Remember, a small gap is good and no gap is not good. If the gap is greater than approximately 1 8 of an inch, press the extrusions back together to get the desired fitment. Finish caulk the corner brackets for an additional seal. Continue with the other corner brackets to complete the assembly. Small spreader bars or specifically cut wood is required to hold this extrusion in place while the adhesives dry. Well, it's 340, Bill. Not bad for a couple old guys. <laughs> it's a couple old fat guys. <laughs> <laughs> um, so, the box is together. We kind of got into mode and stopped talking and giving you guys so much instruction, but again, watch the videos. We're gonna to need to finish caulk it. We're gonna do the finish caulk and then finish the inside, drag it outside, put the brush guards on it because it won't fit through the garage. So that's something you'll need to check when you do yours. And uh, yeah, then we're gonna show you something very exciting and new that comes with every one of our kits. Stay tuned. <laughs> Make it, make it, make it, yes. Well, the screws out. 
get that on film. Okay, so there's a strap all the way back there. But we had a lot of force on it, so. How's your back? We both rolled. We're gonna work smarter this time and not harder. Well, Bill, um, it is uh, 5.45. Not bad for a day's work. Not bad. We even have Got a couple, uh, windows, couple in. of windows in. Brush guards are on. I'm looking awesome. All of the uh, camper jacks, everything is good to go here. Did you want to talk a little bit about these camper jacks, how awesome they are? I will in just a second, but first I want to talk about how we got on the driveway. You should have seen Dave and I fall on our <laughs> Or did it never happen when nobody saw it? Everybody is going to hear an audio <laughs> of it happening, but the camera was pointed the wrong direction. Yeah, we <laughs> lost two straps and we went slinging. Then we got the Jeep winch, which you saw from Dave, and we just pulled out easily. <laughs> so, but it was quite comical, and uh, we both got a good laugh as we're laying on our. <laughs> uh, but no, it's out of the garage, and we're ready to put on camper jacks, which we'll give you a whole expose on here in a minute. But yeah, habitat's done. So after you have your camper jackets done, you're going to need to loosen just a tiny bit to get the centering alignment bushing just right with the plate so it will fall in place. So just a quick little loosen, find it, get it seated, double check your pin insertion, and away you go. Time. Time. Time is 6.38. It's not a bad day. Not a bad day at all. Just I mean, a few more hours of some detail cleanup. Um, put some windows in. Finish that. Glue a door in tomorrow. And uh, yeah, we'll have a habitat ready to go. And here come the neighbors to look. So, okay. so we actually had this already built, this completed. No windows and finish caulking, but we had it completed this afternoon. One day. One day. So we made that goal, no problem. Um, but all the finish work that we also did, um, also one day. Everything. Can it be done? Yes, yes. it can. <laughs> can we do it? We'll yes, say we it should can. take a day and a half. Just give you a little buffer. But yeah, yeah, give you a day and a half. Yeah. You know, you don't have to speed run it just like we did, but it can be done in a day. Well, Dave, it's been a pleasure again. Absolutely, Bill. Man, thank you. <laughs> You're welcome. All right, new closing message now. Closing messages. You guys, we want you to be safe. We want you to be in one of these. And I think the best way to do it is to get a Globe Trekker box. It is going to be awesome. I can't wait to see this thing on the Jeep Gladiator. Jeep Gladiator is the smallest that we're going to make, and it goes up to F-350 in this size. Above F-350, you're going to want our really awesome 2.5-inch panel. So when you're looking for something to buy, check out Globe Trekker.
coming up on our normal. Yeah. 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 Y